Okay, sorry about that. I actually don't have the text file that I thought I had to um, set up the Nord lead. So what I want to do is I want to show you guys um, a little gift that uh, I'm going to give you. If you go to your Finder window and you go to the Go pull-down menu, go to iDisk, Other Users Public Folder, all you have to do is type in SF Logic Ninja, and when you hit Connect, you will we'll see on your desktop, you'll see a little icon that says SF Logic Ninja Public. And if you double click on that, you'll have a folder with logic environments. Just drag that to your desktop. That has all of the environments that I've been able to find so far. And in each of those environments, it has all of the multi instruments already made that you might need for most popular synthesizers. So check this out. I'm going to close that. I'm going to go back to my environment. I'm going to pretend that I have a couple synthesizers in my uh, arsenal. So I'm going to get rid of the Nord lead. Now I'm going to double click on various multi-sets, which I have here on my desktop. As you guys can uh, probably see. I'm going to double click. Now I'm going to tell it, don't close. Okay, ask me if I want to close this song. I'm going to say, don't close. Okay, sorry about that. Um, uh, this one didn't have an audio channel set up for me to uh, be able to talk to you guys. Now it does. Okay, in this various multi-set, when you open it up, it shows you an environment window. If you go over to the left and you click and hold on the uh, layers, you'll see Alesis, Emu, Insonic, Kawai, Korg. These are all the major manufacturers um, that I've collected so far for this main uh, multi-set template. So check it out. If you want, let's say we got a, uh, let's say we have an old Roland JV2080 here. Uh, if you want to put that into your environment, you see my old environment window is still sitting back here. I can just grab the 2080 and literally drag it over. And then I can grab, let's see, uh, let's say I have a Yamaha. Let's say I have a Yamaha uh, QY, no, let's see, uh, TG500. Let's say I have a uh, Roland Techno card or Vintage Synths, let's say. What's cool about this setup is that um, if I double click on the 2080, all of the names are correct. They're intact. I highly recommend you guys go over and check out the Logic User Group and also because they have a lot of environments for download and that you also check out uh, Sonic Matter S-O-N-I-K-M-A-T-T-E-R um, you guys Sonic Matter is actually the best I think out of the ones that I've seen so far but um, I shouldn't knock Logic User Group or even Big Blue Room like those sites are also excellent um, but if you want to get environments and download them those guys are very good now I gave you the um, Logic User Group's environments in my uh, public folder on my iDisk. So um, check it out. Now check it out, I just dragged those in, right? Now the only problem is I only have one port hooked up to this computer. So on the JV2080, normally if I have a multi-port device like an AMT8 or, a, or maybe a MIDI-MAN 8x8 or something like that, if you click you would see all of the ports show up here automatically. You don't have to set that up, it automatically happens. Now, in the Arrange window, I'll hit 1, and you remember, okay, it switched over to JV2080 automatically because I had erased the Nord. But what's kind of cool now is that if I go and say, External MIDI, Create, my library over here, you see I've got the JV2080, there's the TG500, and there's Vintage Synths, right? So let's say I go to the 2080 and I want Channel 1. See? automatically creates it. I'll double click here and maybe instead of the JV2080 I want the TG500. Oh, why isn't the TG500 on? Well, go to 8 again. See all of these are crossed out. That means that none of these channels will be available in the arrange window. So I gotta turn them on. I'm just gonna turn on 8 for now. Check it out. There they are. One, two, three.
Cool. Now if you go to select program and oh they don't have the programs listed in this one. Oh, okay, there we go. It's in that bank. There we go. So um oh that's an error. It seems to be flashing. Okay, it was just a some weird redraw or something like that. So I went over to bank here and I chose a bank, chose a program number. There we go. And if I had selected my ports correctly, I'll be all good. I can play those instruments. Now, here's another very, very important thing. Um, the way that MIDI is happening here is the MIDI is going to these devices now. So if I go to the TG500 and I go to this port, there we go. So in the arrange window, I can choose channel one and the MIDI is going to go to it. The MIDI goes to this object, right? And then it goes here to the arrange window. It's going to record what I play and then it's going to send the MIDI out to the device, okay? The device is sitting outside of my computer. It's a box that has sounds in it and that box has an audio output. If we want to be able to hear that box, we're going to have to have it going into a mixer, going to our speakers, or it's going to have to come back into Logic. Okay, now if you want it to come back into Logic, there's a number of different ways to do it. I think probably the easiest way to do it is just go down to your mixer here, hit Add, and we're going to make a stereo auxiliary set to whatever input, you know, right now I'm on my MacBook Pro, so I only get one, one and two. But if you have a multi-input device, you would just choose whatever inputs you're putting the, the, uh, the external device into. Okay, so if it's a Yamaha synthesizer, it's got two outputs left and right. You'd route them back into the audio interface that's hooked up to your computer. Okay, your audio interface has the out, the go. Let's say it's, um, they call it eight in, eight out. That means that you'll have eight audio inputs and eight audio outputs. So that means that you could have up to four stereo instruments going into Logic. That's okay. Um, not wonderful, but it's okay. And these days, with all the software stuff that you have built in Logic, that'd probably do you. So I hit create. There's my auxiliary. I would just call it, you know, TG500. And I would just physically plug the output of that box that I have connected to Logic into input one and two. And I turn this up and I would be able to hear it. And uh, that's basically it for that. That's how you can route that's how you route your MIDI out to your external MIDI devices and then route the audio out of that device back into Logic.